see you every day in school and every weekend for study sessions. Are you really sure this is what you want? It's gonna be fine. Lenore's dreams are coming true. A beautiful home. A loving husband. What do you think? It's incredible. So sweet. And a new baby on the way. <laughs> Lenore, the anesthesiologist is going to prep you now, and then we'll count you down, okay? What's wrong with the baby? Nothing wrong with the baby, Lenore. Stop! Stop! I've never seen a murder like this. No leads whatsoever. Tell me about the witness. Lenore Harker, early 20s. No record of any kind. Frank? Okay. Hi. Everything's okay. Where's the baby? He's in the nursery, and he's beautiful. In a few days, I'm gonna ask you to speak to a psychologist that works in our department. What's his name? Daniel. Yeah, that works. He really does look like an angel. Do you remember what the doctor looked like? He had a mask on. So I couldn't really make out his face. What about the other medical technicians? The nurse. I really can't do this now. With my baby, I'm sorry. very upset the other day. You come in to be hypnotized. Absolutely not. I think it would help you. I'm perfectly fine. You don't look fine. What's going on, Len? I'm starting to get really worried now. Why don't you just let me take him, for God's sakes? You're scary, man. Lenore, open this door! Lenore! Do not shut me out! This level of hostility is usually reserved for people who are trying to hide something, like a guilt reaction. Lenore, Sergeant Perkins. Where is he, Lenore? Where's the baby? Jesus. Where's Daniel? He just gets so hungry. When the baby sleeps. Where's the baby? Be quiet. Very, very quiet. Is it dead, Frank? No, it's alive.